In the previous video, we had a look at um, adding advanced custom fields to the page with some data. And basically, this is what the data was. It was, this is text one, select two, two, select one, three, and it doesn't make any sense. So what we want to do now in this one is show how easy it is to format this information uh, when in oxygen. So we're going to head over then, as it's a blog post, we're going to head over to our blog post template. So here we are in our blog post. We'll open up the structure window. Let's click here. You'll see that we have a PHP snippet of code and you'll see that it is from advanced custom fields and we want to start styling this so that it just pulls it all together. So one of the things that I like to do if I'm working with um, some code and I want to style it is I actually build the div structure outside of that content and I then apply some classes and then as I apply them, because they're also then inserted into the code, it will apply the classes to the code. So what I mean, for example, is if we take this entire document, we're going to wrap it in a div. So what I would do then is I would create a new section inside Oxygen. And I would then create a condition. And in this case, I'm just going to say if uh, user role is equal to administrator, so that only I'm going to ever see this content. And then what I'm going to do is add a div. And that will be the first div and that will be the div to wrap the content so we'll give that a um, a width of 100 percent then what we're going to do if we just go and have a look at what's inside the content you'll see that we have the the text which is a text field then we have a repeater which is a select repeater then we have an image which is also in the repeater. And then we have a select field also in the repeater. So if we break this down is we have the text field. And then we have the repeater field. And we want to do something now uh, with that. So what we'll do, the first one we're going to do is that is going to have a look at the text. So let's head back there and we're going to wrap all of the content now in a div so we will let's do that now of course if we're going to wrap it in the div and what we're going to do we'll just call this let's call it content Wrap. So the first div we're going to have is the content wrap, and that will wrap all the content. So I head over here, and I go and I create a class, and that class content wrap. Okay, so there I've created my class content wrap. Right, let's head over to the next item. And then we have the text item with an if statement. So only display if that text is available. And what we'll do is we're going to wrap that in um, a div as well. So we'll put that div in there and we'll put the closing div here. And we'll call that. And just to link it to the field. We'll call that content wrap, uh, content text. And then what we'll do is we'll copy that. And now what we'll do is we'll create a text field inside our div that we created. Let's add another div. And we'll add a class. So now we have a class for the text as well. Now, as I've already set that out, so to give an idea of what happens now is I'm going to apply that code. All right. So what I can do now is we have content wrap. 
Now I'm going to go and just do some styling on that. So if I head over now to content wrap, I'm going to make that 100. So already now you can see that there, there's been a change. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just separate that. And then what we'll do is we're going to give that, uh, that was the text. So let's maybe not put that on the text. And then if I go to the content wrap, so the content wrap, I'm going to also make that 100% width. So we'll just set that like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a background color. of red. Right, so content wrap and then if I head over to my styling here, there we have the class of a content wrap and then if we refresh on the front end Ah, spelled class incorrectly, so it's not going to show. Right, now if we apply the code, there you go. So you can already see that my content is pulling together um, quite nicely just by doing that. Now, of course, what it does allow me to do is to style the rest of the content. So now we have if have rows the repeater. So let's create a div and we'll say class equals content dash repeater. Right, and let's go to the closing statement here. Right, so now we're going to Do the class content repeater. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll go into my div and we first have the text and then we have the repeater. So what I'm going to do is add a div and then we will add that class. And just to separate it out, we're going to give that a background of blue, right? We'll give that a margin of 20. So now we've isolated the repeater field and we can also do something like that. So now what we have is we have the text element, then we have the repeater which has text, an image and a selection field. If we quickly have a look at that in the back end, you'll see that there we have the, uh, the repeater area where we had the uh, the text, the image, and the repeater select field. So we're going to head back then to the back end here and we're going to style this information over here. So now what I can do is because I've isolated that, I can go into my repeater and we have the repeater text, then we have the repeater image, and then we have the repeater text field. So what we'll do is we'll head over to the repeater text. We'll wrap that in a div. So we're, there we have the repeated text. Then here we have the we have the image. So there we have the URL, and there we have to echo the image. So let's wrap that in a div here. So we'll just close that out there. And let's put a div here. We have the repeater image.
And then we have the repeater select. So we're going to do the same thing here. We'll just close out that PHP statement. Open it up again. In fact, what we can do is do that here. And then we just isolate the echo. So let's do that repeater select and then right so now I have my repeater fields so what I'm going to do now is style that further so I can go to my first repeater which was the repeater text so in my document here now I'm going to look for my repeater content which is my content repeater and then I'm going to add the three divs because I know that there are three divs in this section I'll just duplicate those and what I'll also do is I'm going to set them up similar to that and then I can go to the first div and I know that it's repeater text I'll add that class then it was repeater image add that class and then it was repeater select and I'll add that class so now we've added those three classes and if we move up now we can start to see that once again our layout has changed and you can see now that we have that div with the three elements So at the moment it's stretching off the page, so let's allow the multi-line. And now what we can do is we can then also stretch those divs. And now you'll see that as we go through our list here, you'll see how those items move. So there we have the three different items. And what we'll do now just to, as a reference, is we can make that one blue. And that'll give us an idea where the first one appears. So let's head over to that div and let's give it a width of 100%. So there are the three divs, and if we go down here, we'll see that there are the three divs. So we'll head over to that, and let's make the width of each column 33%. And what we can also do is take that div, and uh, we've already put that in. Right, so there we have the three elements, and we can see that that image is a bit big. Let's save that. So let's just position these elements a bit nicer so we can head over to each column, center the elements. Right, so there we have the three elements in those three divs now as they would appear in that table.
as you can see, the image is not um, is displaying beyond the borders of its field. Um, to demonstrate that, if we head over there to that layout and we say overflow hidden, then you'll see that we have the three columns neatly aligned. So now we have um, those three elements that were in that content as they should be. So we have the text at the top. And that text, we can just change the background color there so we can. So if we were to do something like that. So we would have the heading and then we have the repeating elements displayed one under the other in that table. So if I wanted to create a space between each row, then what I would do is I would head over to my code. And as you can see, we have the content from the repeater and then we have if have rows while rows. So here what we would do is put in another div. And let's just call that repeater row. And that would appear then with a closing statement here. And what I would do then is head over to my div. I would add another div. And now this div falls inside. So the elements now fall inside that new div that we created. So we move the elements across and we will call that repeat a row. So of course now everything is looking a little bit different. So we have it 100% there and we can move the elements next to each other again. And now what we can do is we can add some space between them and now our rows are separated by the um, that margin and what I can also do is head over and maybe I want to change the background of that element to a different color. So now it would be very easy for me to style this um, content simply by going into those um, into the different divs. Um, so for example, if I wanted to change the texture, I can come in, I can change the font size to 40. Um, I could change the color to white. Um, the same would, would apply. I would head over, say, to that first block, head over to typography. Let's make that um, 30. You can see the difference straight away and I head over to the last item and let's make that font size 30 as well. And what we can also do um, if we wanted to is maybe we could give each one of these rows um, a box shadow. So there we've given them a box shadow and we could even go so far as accessing the borders and giving them a radius. So we gave that a radius of five. If the radius doesn't um, take effect, what you can also then do is head over to your layout and go to overflow and hidden. And then you'll see it hides the, the corner. So if I undo that, you'll see the sharp pointed corners. If I do that, the corners are rounded. So let's save that. Head over to the front end 
Um, here you can see the page as it was, and now with a bit of formatting, there we have a neatly formatted table coming into effect. Um, like there's something strange going on in that last column here. So to fix that spacing on the far right, we head over to our columns and you'll see that the width was 33. If we make that 33.33, .33, You'll see that the width fits perfectly. We can save. And there it is. So by creating a content element outside of the content with the classes, um, much quicker and easier than to go in and style here than it is to actually go and write up a class. So that's what I like to do if I'm uh, coding and I need to format some custom content. Great. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.